Hope you all must be having a wonderful day. I am Dr. Sarita Kuthari. Today, I will be talking to you all about cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is the second commonest cancer amongst women in India. Breast cancer being number one. Globally, we have around 4 lakh new cases of cervical cancer. India contributes to about 25% of these. Same is true about deaths. If we talk about in numbers, we have 96,000 plus new cases of cervical cancer in India and we lose about 60,000 women due to this disease. Mind you, we lose one woman to cervical cancer every 8 minutes. What causes cervical cancer? Human papilloma virus infection is the major cause. Multiparity, multiple sexual partners, poor hygiene, poverty being the other ones. Smoking also is one of the causes of cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus infection is ubiquitous. Each one of us can have human papilloma virus infection in our life. Most of the times, this infection gets cleared by itself because of our immunity. When it lingers in our body, for 6 to 8 years. First, it causes precancerous changes. If not treated, leads to frank cancer. How do we know that one might be suffering from cervical cancer? There are few symptoms. Foul smelling discharge from vagina. Intermenstrual bleeding per vagina that is bleeding in between normal periods post menopausal bleeding from vagina that is once the menses have stopped you have bleeding from vagina it may be for a single day and most important post vital bleeding from vagina if you have any of these dreaded symptoms, please, please contact your gynecologist at the earliest. Let us discuss few tests for detection of pre-cancer and cancer in cervix. Visual inspection of cervix after application of acetic acid is done at places where resources are not available in most of the rural settings. Pap smear test is available most of the places at a very nominal cost. HPV DNA testing is done in many laboratories but it is a costly test and not available everywhere. Pulposcopy for precancerous lesions can be done at public health institutes at a nominal cost. And gold standard and most important is cervical biopsy, which is a must for any treatment of cervical cancer. Early diagnosis is the key. As in any cancer, early diagnosis improves the prognosis. Many women coming to us come in stage 3 and above. I appeal to all ladies to see their gynecologist at the earliest for screening and vaccination. Let us prevent this dreadful disease.